That was a tough one here at Xfinity Center. Maryland falls to Michigan State, 78-66. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Bosner, and the Big Dog, Rick Jacklich. Guys, there were a couple chances for it, but it didn't happen. Bruce, why didn't it happen tonight? Well, Michigan State was 108-0 when they held a 10-plus lead at halftime. When Cassius Winston hit that three, you kind of felt like it was a message. That was such a turning point in the game. You know, we come down, Maryland has a shot from Karen. He gets bumped. They call a foul. Please, please. They call a walk on a ball that goes in. You know how they, many fouls with the foul differential? I, it I know. I was talking. It's the I know. ones they didn't call. When your guy goes driving down the middle, it's like a Duke game. When you go, oh, well, they, they made up. They called more fouls on Duke. Yeah, but the ones that mattered. Six had a good driving. game. Six had 20 and 12. Cowan had a good game. Winston was on fire. They needed more out of Ayala tonight and out of, out of, out of Wiggins. Listen, tonight, the bottom line is this. Game's over. They lost. Still in first place. Lucky we beat Minnesota Look, I, the other night. I got night. one more. If Still you're in first that place. Many offensive rebounds. You're not going to win a lot beat. of games. Still in first place. We got beat. Still in first place. 17 to four out of the gate. Still in first place. Right. 17 to four out of gate. You know they had a struggle to get back in it. Then they fall behind again. It wasn't their night. They were outplayed. They, they were beat. They clawed back at 23-23. Michigan State went on nine. I run there. That, that really hurt the Terps. Hey, you know, look, they were playing catch up the whole time and they weren't shooting well. Uh, Counts did not have a three. He still doesn't have a three. He didn't right. have a three in Minnesota. Right. He hasn't had a three since the Northwestern game. He saved them all for Rutgers. All you, right. can't, you can't win a game like this without performances from Wiggins. And I yell at, they didn't have it tonight. They lost. And, you know, in the, at Michigan State, our next players, after our top two guys, played unbelievable. And Michigan's guys played horrible. It was a role reversal. It was. It was. All right. Ricky Lindo had a good five minutes, and that was about it for secondary play. What's Michigan thing? State's a really good team. People forget that. That's a really good team. You know what? Izzo climbs back. He gets that team refocused after they lost at home. And listen, he somewhat blamed that loss on game day at Michigan State. Turgeon was not happy about game day. All right? Throws uh, them out of their schedule. I don't care what you say. They, they were here at 11. They had to wait till 8 to play. And heard them, too, coming back from Minnesota Thursday. They get back at 4 o'clock to BWI. You got to turn around. Michigan State hadn't played since Tuesday. That that's a big advantage for hey, that too. I got to issue a question, Rick. Yes, sir. What were you doing wearing gold at Minnesota? Was that a mistake? No, that was my lucky gold. <laughs> I'm undefeated in the gold. Why are You're like, you like why am I wearing gold, gold tonight? tonight? Yeah, I know. It was lucky. Uh, you why didn't you wear it? We'll talk about. It works on the road. We'll talk about Rick's clothing choices after <laughs> this commercial break. <laughs> Turks fall 78-66, and we're still not happy about it. We'll be back in a minute. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jacklich Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. Of course, Rick Jacklich, Viner Forgates in Rockville, Meyer Consulting Engineer, and a shout out to a new sponsor, Route One Apparel, and you'll hear more about them in the coming days. Here we have. This is Andrew Bizak. It's his second game ever in Xfinity Center. And who's your favorite player, Andrew? Anthony Cowan. And why is Anthony Cowan your favorite player? Because he's a point guard, and I'm a point guard. And I think he's, you think might be the only guy the same size as uh, as Ant, right? What do you think? Um, all right, all right, that's in the impressive. Good job, Andrew. <laughs> so, 
So what's next? Next is Rutgers. Rutgers tough to beat at home, mm-hmm. and uh, we have to go up there. You know, the bus ride up there on Tuesday, and it's going to be a tough game, and then we got to come home and beat Michigan to get the undisputed title, and there's no excuses for not doing it. All right? So Rutgers was 17-0 and at home. Michigan got them up at, at Rutgers. Terps will get them at Rutgers. I hope so. I mean, you know, they're listen, Ayala and Wiggins, if they get shut out again, they're not going to beat them. All right, they have to score. And Morcel disappeared. He didn't come back in the game for whatever reason. Uh, he didn't play that bad. I thought Dante Scott had a decent game. We're okay. And sticks is sticks. He's the man. He's 20, 20 points, points, 12 rebounds. 12 rebounds. But really, the outside shot disappeared for Maryland. The rebounding was suspect. It cost them tonight. They got to fix those things. They got to play better no matter who's ref in the game, and you can still win this thing. Right. Uh, it's over. Move right. on. And what are we now, 13-5 and five in conference? 13-5. and five, uh, It was a big day with game day, the flash mob. Maryland wins the lacrosse game. Maryland even won a softball game today. Couldn't get it done tonight, but we have a press conference to go catch. Rick, you give John Tillman 11 days to prepare for any team. He's going to win. What he did to Notre Dame today. <laughs> It wasn't fair. They beat them so bad. I hope they can reschedule that Navy game, though. I'm really hoping. I, I don't know if that's going to happen. I really don't. His schedule's too packed. All right. But uh, that's it. Wrap it up. Okay. Andrew, tell him go Terps. Go Terps. All right. All right. Well done. And we will see you back on the radio Wednesday night with Terp Talk. That's after the Rutgers game. And, of course, on Monday morning, you're going to have a lot to talk about, right. aren't you? Monday morning, 8 o'clock on the, my new show. WNST. I have a lot to talk about this. We'll have to find something else to talk about. Well, because. you'll talk lacrosse, and that'll do it tonight from Xfinity Center. Maryland loses by 12. We'll get them next time at Rutgers. Good evening. Good, Sharps. The sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs>